guys. I'm sorry that you can't see me, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what's been going on with my macros, on my workouts, and how I've been doing with my bulking season. So I started this a um, couple weeks ago with Emily. I've been consuming about 3,000 to 3,300 uh, calories a day if, if you want to see my macros there will be a video link down below um, but anyways so I've been feeling amazing at the gym I've been feeling great my digestive system is great I've been consuming a lot of food but I have been um, keeping in mind the quality of food that I've been consuming so my goal was to gain about half a pound to one pound every week or so so me doing that kept me from just eating whatever I want and getting a lot of fat you know I'm still gonna gain muscle but a lot of fat is gonna come with that so I've been gaining quality muscle minimizing the fat gains and my physique still looks pr pretty good from when I was very lean so I just wanted to bulk slowly so that when it t comes to the time to cut and go into that competition prep within a couple months, I'll have an easier time maintaining my muscle while shedding off that excess fat. So, so the competition date haven't been posted yet, but I'm looking to go right around anytime between May and August 2019. I think the dates are gonna come out within the next two months or so. so I'll keep you guys updated. So it's about 9.30. Please pardon the mountain on my forehead right now. Not sure what's going on with that. But I am about to eat because it's about time for me to get ready for work. So I'm going to make some avocado toast and just sip a little bit on this pre-workout just to help me not fall asleep <laughs> while I'm getting ready. <coughs> Excuse me. But I'm not going to drink very much of it because it gets me like really hype. And I don't know if I need that much hyperness at work. Gracie's been sleeping. She's still sleeping away on her little bed. Oh, good morning. Good morning. I don't know if I've showed you all this, but we got really cute lights up. I like it. And then we got this artwork up. Um two weekends ago because last weekend obviously this past weekend we were in South Carolina I think it was the weekend before that but yeah I'm about to eat so next time I see you I will look a lot better <laughs> all right guys I am on my way to work right now sorry for the weird angle this is the best my dock and my car can do right now but anyways so I'm on my way to work it's about 10 30 I have to be at work at 10 45 I'll be getting off, I'm guessing somewhere between 2 and 3, probably depends on how busy we are. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, yesterday wasn't too bad, when it was good for a Monday, I got out by like 2.30 I think it was, 2.30, and I probably could have left sooner, but anyways, thought I would give you a quick update on how our like fitness lifestyle change macros all that stuff's going so for me it's going pretty well I for those of you that don't know I'll link the video in the cards um, where we just kind of talk about what we're gonna kind of start changing with our diets and our bodies and workouts and stuff like that we posted that video I think or we started it about three weeks ago. I, th I may have posted it like two weeks ago. <coughs> Excuse me. Yesterday was the beginning of week four. I am basically just trying to change my body composition. Um, trying to get more lean, I guess. While also gaining muscle. So I've been tracking my macros as best as I can lately. You know, with starting a new job, you know, you get like training meals and so it's hard to track that ahead of time, not knowing what I'm gonna eat. But with my workouts, I've been working out about, oh my goodness, this traffic. I've been working out three to four times a week, doing the same workouts as I showed in that video that is linked in the cards. And they've been going well, I've been, and 
going up on my weights that I've been lifting. I've been lifting heavier every week, which is super exciting. I'm really happy about that. Oh, finally. Anyways, I've been lifting heavier every week, which is really exciting. I'm really proud of that. I'm really happy with my progress. Um, as for like weight going down, it's gone down a little bit overall, but it's been fluctuating a lot because of like going to the fair, having my period, you know, with work food and stuff like that. But I'm still sticking with my macros, so you know, I'm just kind of doing my best at this point. But yeah, I guess that's just about that's probably about all I have to tell y'all, update you about, you know, our lifestyle change. I did meal prep a little bit last night. I cooked some chicken, tastes real good. Um, baked some chicken breast for salads and just like kind of on the go and I don't have that much time to like actually like cook like a whole meal. I can just microwave the chicken and it's ready to go. I made some kale and romaine like salad mix so like when I get home from work if I want a salad or whenever I need a salad I don't have to think about doing all the extra work of like you know chopping it up and rinsing it and mixing it up and all that stuff so I already have that ready to go I guess that's about it for now I will talk to you guys when I get off work um, after I get off work I'm going to have a little snack walk Gracie go to the gym and then like shower and all that stuff, maybe have dinner and just hang out till Kevin gets home. You wanna go outside? Are you ready to go outside? Wanna go for a walk? Hello. All right, miss. Good girl. So I am home from work. I just walked Gracie and I'm about to have some protein ice cream from, this is from Aldi. It's kind of like their version of Halo Top. I haven't got to really try it yet, so I'm gonna let it melt a little bit, soften up a little bit before I have that. After I finish my ice cream, I'm gonna have a little bit of pre-workout. Not much, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna go to the gym. So while I'm waiting on my ice cream to melt, I am just watching some YouTube videos. I'm currently watching this by Amy TV, Amy Landino. I just subscribed to her, I think, like, last weekend. So I'm, you know, just watching some of her videos. I like watching produ productivity videos, entrepreneurial videos, stuff like that. Uh, cleaning videos, even. It just gets me in a good mood and gets me wanting to feel productive. So, yeah, I'm just doing that and watching some other videos. Another person I really like for productivity and stuff like that is Gillian Perkins. She is awesome. So, I will try to link her channel down below if you wanted to check her out as well as Amy's channel. So, it's a bit later now. It's 6 p.m. and I just got my video up. I'm heading to the gym a bit later than I had wanted to today, but that's okay. Better late than never. I am looking greasy today. Oh my goodness. Anyways, I'm going to have just a little bit of pre-workout. This is a full scoop, so I'm going to not drink all of it. And I'll see y'all at the gym. Hopefully no one's in there so I can, so I can talk about my workout for today. But if there is someone there, I'll just set up my camera and we'll make it work. It's a little chilly outside. I was not expecting that and I think it rained. Okay, so I figured I would tell you what I'll be doing while I'm at the gym as I drive to the gym. So I will be doing, let me see if I can remember. It's all kinds of stuff. I'll show you and I'll have the work, the full workout in the description box. So make sure to check that out if you're interested on a good chest workout. It is very dumbbell heavy, which is good for like small 
gyms. You could even do this at home. Well, most you could do most of it at home. You can make it work. So I will be doing dumbbell bench press, dumbbell crush press, um, single arm preacher curls, single arm bench press, more bicep curls. That's all I can remember. <laughs> Sorry. But check out the workout down below. I will have that down there. Let's hope there's like no one in the gym. I went yesterday and around like five and there was no one there, but there's almost always at least someone there. And it's like 6.15 now, so. I guess we finna find out. that I'm <laughs> kind of cut out in some of these shots, but I'm doing my best. I feel like that took forever. Walking back home now. Well, walking to my car so I can drive back home. I am exhausted. I haven't done that entire workout in a while. Usually, like the last couple weeks, since the, ever since the first week. What am I doing? Sorry. Ever since the first week, so the last two weeks, I've been kind of like cherry picking it not really I've been doing whatever Kevin's told me to do just not doing the entirety of the workout I've been like kind of mixing and matching some of the stuff and kind of more omitting some of the chest workouts because I don't know I guess girls don't really work some girls most girls maybe I don't know I'm not most girls I'm just one don't really do a whole lot of chest but you know, I don't want my boobs getting saggy, so sometimes you just gotta do it. I am back home now, and it's time for my protein shake. I'm really low on my macros today, and I would say I'm really not sure why, however, I kinda know why. All I had today before I went to work was what do I have to do? Oh, avocado toast. I was gonna have some espresso, but it wasn't really feeling too good when I went to work, so I know it wouldn't really help. And then when I came home, I was like, oh, well, I'm about to go to the gym. I don't wanna eat, you know, too much. I wanna eat something fast. So I just had some Cheez-Its. Well, I had some Protein ice cream, actually I showed you all that already. And then that got me like all bloated. I don't know if it's the dairy. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't think I'm, I don't know. I don't know if I'm lactose intolerant because the other day I had milk and I was perfectly fine. But I had some of that protein ice cream from Trader, no, from Aldi and it didn't make me feel too good. I got all bloated and stuff, so. I had some Cheez-Its because that made me feel better. Somehow. They weren't even like real Cheez-Its, they're Aldi brand. And they're old, so they're kind of stale, so they weren't really the greatest. So this is gonna be my dinner for now. I hate how late it is. It's already almost 
And I need to have two scoops of protein, but I need, I just, I need more calories. I'm just really low on calories today. So I'm probably gonna have some spaghetti and Italian sausage for dinner. But like I said earlier, I hate like having a lot of carbs at night, later at night. Oops, I said two scoops. Because then I'm all bloated the next morning and that's just, I don't think anyone likes being bloated in the morning. I know I certainly don't. And I wanted to have tea tonight and take a bath. And now I'm not sure I'm going to have time for that. I don't think I will, which is unfortunate. Because I was really looking forward to that, but whatever. But the good news is that tomorrow, Kevin will be coming home in the afternoon. Because that's what he does on Wednesdays. Okay. So that's really exciting. I'll get to see Kevin. Kevin will actually be home by the time I get off work. Hopefully I can get off kind of early. Yeah, hopefully LJ will be working in the morning. Let's we'll find out. Just set in the mood for tonight. Don't mind me shaking my protein <laughs> in the background. Got our pretty lights on. Some lights under here. And got our Santa Fog Pumpkin Latte Candle burning. We've been taking a break from candles recently for some reason. I guess we've just been busy and just forget. I don't know. One thing I love about Optimum Nutrition Protein is that it's so smooth. Like, normally when I make a protein shake, I shake it up really good, and then it gets all bubbly and foamy, and that's gross, so I just let it sit in the fridge for a while until I remember that I put it in there, and then I drink it. But with this, you can just drink it like this, and it's not chunky, and it's not foamy. <coughs> Excuse me. It's amazing. <coughs> Okay, I'll just say it like this. I don't know if I ever updated y'all on how that pre-workout is for me, the Evolution Nutrition. Okay, so the other day I took, Gracie quit. The other day I took a full scoop of the pre-workout without food in my stomach, or at least without much food in my stomach. I don't remember if I had food in my stomach or not. And I got really itchy and really like, I don't, I don't know what the right word is. You know how, if you've taken pre-workout, you probably know what I mean. Like, well, a lot of people have, like, itchy ears, like, your skin is, like, tingly. I just felt like I needed to work out, but we couldn't work out because the gym was not open yet, which is really unfortunate. Our gym doesn't open until the pool or the office is open, so it, I can't go early in the morning, like I said, which is really annoying. I'll probably be joining Planet Fitness pretty soon so I can go to the gym in the morning before work and not have to worry about it when I get home in the afternoons. Anyways, so then I just like felt weird after taking the pre-workout and then not being able to work out and not having food in my stomach. And then I ended up just feeling really sick and we actually had to stay home from church that day. So what I do now is I have to do a half scoop of pre-workout and the blue Raz I do double the amount of water because it's just really tart and I don't really care for it like that. But the cherry limeade flavor is really good as it is. I just have to do half a serving otherwise it's just a little too strong for me. Which I guess is probably pretty normal for a lot of pre-workouts. I did read that like if you're under 65 kilos which is about... I think it was 65. I don't remember the kilos, but it was about 165 pounds. If you're under that, um, pre-workout does tend to affect you more than it would normal normal people. Like, Kevin has no problem with the pre-workout. It does make him, like, tingly, I guess. Um, but right before he works out, but then I guess he's fine. I don't know. Haven't shown a whole lot of Gracie in this vlog, so... Here's your daily dose of Gracie Mae. Snuggling up with Mama. While she drinks her protein shake and gets all bloated because of the way, I'm assuming, her breath is a little stinky, but that's okay because, oh my god, she's killing me right now. Oh my god. Because we got her a doggy toothbrush and toothpaste and her mouth got very clean yesterday. This dog, she was a spoiled yesterday. And well, the day before, she got french fries, she got to sleep the whole ride home, she got to play with baby girl, she also got to sit in the front seat, and then she got a puppuccino from Starbucks, if you saw in my last vlog. And then yesterday, 
She got a bath. She got new conditioner. So now she has shampoo and conditioner. She's so soft. She got a really good brushing. Um, she got her bed and blanket. Ew. <laughs> Lick my mouth. Her bed and blanket wash with new hypoallergenic laundry detergent. Hopefully it seems to be working. I don't know. We'll see if it seems to bother her any worse than the last kind. What did I say? She got brushed. And then she got her teeth brushed. She must have, she better have slept real good last night. Look at that face. I don't know how anyone could dump her on the side of the road. Like, look at this sweet angel. She's the sweetest puppy in the world. She's so sweet. So sweet. She's so spoiled too. But that's okay. Spoil the heck out of her. She deserves it. Kevin made it home, and we're fixing some dinner. Kevin's got some chicken in the oven to help uh, meal prep, and I didn't want to have a heavy meal like spaghetti, but I have a lot of macros left for the day. <laughs> I got that on video. <laughs> Anyways, I have a lot of macros left for the day, but it's getting late. It's already 8.30, and I don't like to eat after 9 p.m. because I just feel bleh. So, we're gonna finish up our pork. I think it's pork gyoza. We're gonna do chicken. six. Oh, is it chicken? Yeah. Okay, chicken gyoza. It tasted weird last time. But six, we're gonna have pan fried. I'm pointing to right here. And then we're gonna split a thing of ramen and do ha uh, two gyozas in the ramen. All right, it's the end of the night. We finished eating dinner like an hour, hour and a half ago. I don't know when it was. It was so bomb. Oh my goodness. Wasn't dinner amazing? I thought it was amazing. Way better than having spaghetti. So happy with it. And now it's all gone, so we gotta go back to Trader Joe's to get some more. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you would like to see other vlogs, I will have the playlist linked right after this clip. And I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and want to see more vlogs. Leave a comment down below if you are trying to eat healthier or go to the gym more often or try to be more consistent with your, I guess, fitness goals. Uh, feel free to follow me on Twitter or Instagram. Handles are always linked down below in the description box. Send me a DM, tweet me, whatever you feel like doing. I am more than happy to be an accountability partner for you. We can text each other, tweet each other, DM each other, whatever it is to make sure that we are both holding each other accountable and that we are both reaching our goals. So that does it for today's video. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.